Tonight, authorities have named the gunman accused of fatally shooting a security officer yesterday at a New Hampshire hospital, a secure psychiatric facility in Concord. And while investigators are shedding some light on what happened, they're saying almost nothing about motive. It could have been much, much worse. That assessment from the governor less than 24 hours after a transient now identified as 33-year-old John Midori walked into the Granite State's largest psychiatric hospital wielding a pistol. He did not get past the metal detectors, so he was engaged before that. Indeed, that's where the gunman encountered security officer Bradley Haas, a 63-year-old former police chief in Franklin who was unarmed in this job working the hospital's main entrance. But he will now be remembered forever as a man who died protecting patients, staff, and visitors at New Hampshire Hospital. The exact circumstances are not yet clear, but a state trooper just beginning his evening shift was in the building. A state trooper who was assigned to the hospital and already on campus responded immediately, and the trooper shot and killed the suspect. There were apparently several people in that lobby when the gunfire erupted, but no one else was hurt. Responding officers would quickly focus on a U-Haul truck in the parking lot, engine running, a rental now linked to the suspect. Located within the U-Haul were several items of concern, including an AR-style rifle, a tactical vest, and several magazines of ammunition. There is surveillance video of the incident, but at this point police are saying very little about the suspect. Other than Midori had most recently been staying in the Concord area after a stint in motels along the seacoast. But his connection to the hospital and his motive for going there are still foggy. It's important not to prejudge this and jump to conclusions before we've had a chance to gather all of the facts, all the information, and evaluate it. Today, however, investigators hinted that Midori's intent might well have extended beyond a single victim. I feel safe in saying that the actions of the trooper and Bradley Haas saved a lot of lives yesterday. An autopsy on Bradley Haas today revealed he died from multiple gunshot wounds. Authorities would not say if John Midori has had previous run-ins with the law. And at this point, investigators have not named the trooper who shot him.